the kind of people that will go and research and dig you up and find the things that are wrong or flaws in what you have. Those are the kind of people that honestly you don't want to do business with anyway. So, because if you honestly, if you do business with skeptics, are you feeling? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. We don't keep this too. Uh, if you do business with people who are skeptical all the time out of everything that you do, you will always be trying to prove yourself. But if you know you have a product or service that you believe in, that you believe is great, then you don't have to submit to the cynics or those who will accuse you of not being real or honest or open and things of that nature. So like, I, I, I keep it with a guy named Ty Lopez who is, if you know how to click on the, the internet, this dude is everywhere. So Ty Lopez have people right on his live videos. Now he's been doing this and he's documented and he's certified you know, in regards to how much money he makes and the different things he's involved in. But there are people still saying, your cars are fake, your house is rented. Your... Now here's the reality, even if it is, he has built a platform to help people. And if you focus on the platform to help people, then it doesn't matter what other people are saying or what they're talking about. So um, I am done with trying to prove myself or trying to be overly perfect to anyone. So even this daily, vlog that we're putting out um, it's scary it's a lot of work we just talked today we just had a business meeting before the meeting <laughs> today about how we need to try to space it out and do different things um, because it's hard work it's dedication um, it's a little fear of all uh, to be transparent and try to be this consistent like let's just look at the day like I'm scruffy today I haven't shaved or none of the rest of the stuff I got coffee breath I know you're kidding for my coffee breath but and I'm not really, really a coffee drinker but the truth is, it's about being consistent, and I no longer have anything to prove to anyone. So whatever resources I have available, all these different things I'm connected to, I'm going to share and tell you what I'm connected to. And I'm not afraid to be connected to 10 different industries if I know that my baseline is, is my truth. Whatever your truth is, go off of that. I know what mine is. I want people to be great. I want people to be good. I want you to find your purpose. And I want you to connect it to the vehicle of entrepreneurship because I believe entrepreneurship, now here's the deal, I'm not against getting a job, but I believe entrepreneurship takes the cap off of your possibilities or your potential. If you connect to someone to work with them, if it's not a strategic position where you're trying to learn something to be able to move on, and then some companies honestly are great companies and they take care of you really well. And so I understand why you work for them for 10, 20, 30 years if that's take care of you and your family. Now I'm, I'm fine with that. But those who are the, um, us crazy psycho entrepreneurs who want to build a life or build a world of our own, then we don't want to cap on on our potential. So, so that's the most important is to is taking people, connecting them to their purpose, because purpose is service. You gotta love people. You gotta love what you do, and then put that in the vehicle of entrepreneurship. That will release. All of the other things that flow towards your life, you fix your mind, you fix your purpose. I heard Lisa Nichols one time say that let the tongue in your mouth and the tongue in your shoe go in the same direction. <laughs> so um, I subscribe to that. That what you say and what you do, let it match with your purpose. So and that's it for today. I'll see y'all next time.